Hey guys, so as you saw on the title of this video, I'll be testing if 100% silicone can dry underwater. And I've actually got a couple different uh, brands. I've got six different types of caulk that I'll be testing. I'm assuming this one's going to be the one that's going to dry underwater, but I just figured we'd test all of them just to see. So I'll be using this little tub of water right here. So I'll be putting all the silicone on top of this brick, and then I'll be putting the brick inside the water. And we'll probably leave them for about 24 hours. So it says full cure right here, 24 hours on the silicone. We'll put these on the brick right now, and then I'll show you guys how I'm doing that. And then we're going to put it underneath the water, and we'll come back in about 24 hours. Perfect, so as you guys can see, I got my clear silicone, the white silicone, the DAP, the fast dry 20 minute, the almond DAP, the NCS 45. We got all those, I'm gonna put that inside the water now. For any of you guys wondering what this video is for, I'm just genuinely curious uh, which one's gonna dry underneath water. And maybe you have like a leak in your window or something and it was raining outside and you needed to go put your silicone on that window. Or maybe like a, a hot tub or something or a swimming pool. Anyway, I just figured it would probably dry underneath water, but I just wanted to double check. GE Silicone One All-Purpose 100% Silicone is permanently weatherproof and waterproof sealant that never cracks, shrinks, breaks down, or washes away. Excellent for window, door, attic, basement, and plumbing applications. So it says it doesn't wash away. I assume it dries, but we'll see. Okay, so we got all of the caulk and silicone inside the bucket now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this one just instantly changed colors as soon as I put it underneath the water. We'll see, that's that DAP 230 that was underneath there. So uh, we'll uh, leave these and let these sit for 24 hours and I'll come back to them tomorrow and we can see which ones are dry and which ones aren't. All right, so it has been 24 hours since we put the silicone inside the water. First thing that I noticed was that the water is like, so you can see right here that it is extremely milky in there. You know what, I'm gonna get some gloves. Okay, so hopefully I don't drop my phone as I do this, but let's pull this out since we can't see. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> let's see, this one, oh, even though it says 100% waterproof, not even close to drying, this is like, this is almost like the consistency of like milk. It's just really thick milk, like a whipped cream, maybe. This is probably more like pudding. And this one's like milk. This one, again, like this cream. Let's see, this is the real test. So, oh, so this is the the white silicone. That actually kind of feels like it dried. It's got um, air bubbles, but that might be underneath. And then this one, right? oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's like hard. That's like fully cured silicone. Wow, so I wonder what the difference is. This white one is kind of... This is like uh, marshmallow, the consistency of like a marshmallow. But that, I mean, that's dry. It's just uh, really squishy. So I need to figure out what the difference is between the white one and the clear one. But this clear one, this is extremely hard. That's completely solid. So silicone can dry underwater. Hmm, that's interesting. This white silicone, let's see what the difference is here. Kitchen and bath products. 
window door attic trim flashing. So this is probably just more of like an interior white white, and this is more clear. So that's probably why this dried so much better is because this is meant for exterior and this is meant for more like interior kitchen and bath here. So that's interesting. This is like completely dry. So if you needed to patch or silicone like a shower or a tub, a jacuzzi, a hot tub, um, then this would for sure work. That's pretty cool. Well, there you guys have it. Clear silicone will 100% dry underneath water. The interior brand, like the more uh, for the bathroom and the kitchen, this still actually dries, but it's it's a different consistency. It's more like a marshmallow, where this one's like dried, hard silicone, like rubber. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed videos like this. And if you guys have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. I post new videos every week. So anyways, other than that, I'll talk to you guys later.